Hi, and welcome to Simscape Racing. In this video, I'll show you how to set up PSVR to work with the Seto Corsa. So let's start by opening Chinas and calibrating the headset. If you want a complete guide on how to get PSVR to work on PC, check my video in the description, I'll link it there. Aceto Corsa is well supported for VR and does not need a lot of setting up to get it right. After Steam VR has started, keep the headset active or it will not work properly. What I mean by this is don't let the screen inside the headset go off. It will go off after some time of inactivity. The easiest way to prevent this is to place the headset on your head but you don't need to put it over your eyes. Once inside the seto, go to video options and ensure that the resolution is right and the rendering mode is open VR. The rest of the settings will depend on your system, so fine tune it to your liking. Let's start a race and see what it looks like. Because I'm recording this, I won't get 120 frames. I'll switch to the capture card and show you what it looks like inside the VR headset. Here I am inside the headset and as you can see it runs pretty smooth. I get a stable 120 frames per second and um, I can put pretty much everything on high but uh, that will depend on your system. I then took the Formula 2 car for a spin at Albert Park. I really think the open wheel racing uh, captures the feeling of VR very well. Tracking was still a problem, I had to reset after every couple of laps, so I just had the keyboard on my lap and then just hit that reset button every now and then. These cars from Sim Racing Studio are absolute beauties and I really enjoy racing these cars. You can really get close uh, wheel to wheel action and as you'll see here, these cars do look good especially in VR. I then went to Nordschleife in the McLaren P1. So if you have any questions, um, put them in the comments down below. And in future, I'll try and um, make more videos of how to set up in different games. So thanks for watching. Until next time.